Utah Creative Chamber. We're here. That's this is their building. It's a nice Ooh. venue. Give it up. Give a round of applause for yourself. Let's go. Yeah. Here we go. We got DJ Druggy in the building. We got Callie Smooth plus one. And thanks for everybody that supported. But now we got this really a big battle. Uh, we got Nick Jones coming back after 10 years. Okay. We got Mike Bailey. You know Mike's been everywhere. And we did ask for a coin toss, and Nick said, fuck the coin toss. Ow! Nick said he wanted to go first. So, battle to my right, introduce yourself. What up, it's Nick Jones, Westville, paid advocate for main management. Rest in peace to Young Rip, rest in peace to A-Town, let's get it. All right, battle to my left. It's Mike Bailey, GD. Rest in peace to the homie Philly Blunt, he just passed away. Rest in peace. Salt Lake City, how we feeling? Yeah. It's good to be back. <clears throat> Lately, I swear this whole scene is a vibe. And the only way I could even think to describe what y'all will be seeing tonight is Mexican food. Meaning when I step to this dude, he's getting served with beans and rice on the side. Oh my God. <laughs> Now, for those of you that didn't know, you should have had your homies tell you. It's Nick Jones back from the OG era. And if we're grabbing Mike, he's catching strikes like Yogi Berra. Oh, this your new holy grail? Well, don't compare us. Should have cloned me better. Came back tonight to crash on sight like coding errors. I'm saying? Oh, I came to take back my spot from this place, man. Now, he's going to have an angle about how everything that I say, Cap, when he's the one who had to make his name in a league called A-Hat. I think, it's, I think it's time that we face facts. Because this battle rap shit is pro wrestling fake, and no one out here is fighting fair. As a matter of fact, your favorite what? battle rapper is probably a lion square who you wouldn't find around a project at a science fair. So, Mike, who are you trying to scare? Because, I mean, you're the perfect example. See, when he raps, it's weed bags, and he's moving snow like ski tracks. In real life, his 9 to 5 is working at a rehab. So, which is it, Mike? Are you sobering people up? Or are you selling them their relapse? The hypocrisy runs deep, but he's too naive to see that. And I mean, what's next? Your resume? Boy, whoop de doo It's real impressive until you see who be who. Not to mention you dug me and Pat Mane in that 2v2, and we all know you're running from ghosts like it's Scooby-Doo. So I'm going to say this one time, because he ain't getting it. Mike, it's not that we don't think you're a gangster. We think you're an idiot. Those gun, those gun, bars, those gun bars might be real, but they ain't winning us over. He has a music video with his baby and a pistol like the kid is a soldier. Could you, could you imagine he gets in a real beef, storms off like, this shit isn't over. Yell out, he got a gun so big, he'll be back with a strap if it can fit in his stroller. <laughs> So in this regard, I'm dumb, but why would you ever want your child in a video involving a gun? Mike will tell you his kids are his world, but I guess it's because he'll bring a revolver around his son. So if this is the new bandwagon y'all are hopping on, you should probably stop and drop me off. Because if my overhyped little prototype starts popping off, I hold a knife that could open Mike like coffee shops. Do you coffee, dog? That's that means a blade with two handles is his underlying threat. So I'll run it by you a couple times like I'm trying to double check. I give him one into the chest and then it flutters by his neck. This knife will change your kid's life. It's crazy what a butterfly affects. Can y'all hear me? Oh, yeah! I say, it's a small town and pool in the lake, but I'm the biggest fish in the pond swimming. Y'all were worried about a GPA, but rapping like your life was GTA, man, y'all tripping. Your bars flashy with these Call of Duty guns, like, 
Life's a video game and we can break all physics. Me, I don't get excited. I guess I'm an old school shooter. I mean, I'm so calm with it. <laughs> Bitch, you got to, you got to fuck around and find out. I got a gun that was made in 1987. Pay attention, the year's ironic. Cause it's gonna be a murder when you take the nine now. Bitch. <laughs> You got a little man complex, but always acting big. Well, bitch, try now. I bet you finally feel what it's like to be six feet. But that's a hole he can't climb out. Oh. It's gonna be, it's gonna be R.I.P. post on Facebook. It says he's still active, but he permanently signed out. Hey. Bitch, for me, this a tune-up fight. For you, this a tryout. Side note, I was wondering why Pat Main's always on your dick. And then... And then I heard y'all were roommates, and it all started to click. You see, you see, with a bromance this strong from states away, I don't even want to know what was going on in that apartment, Nate. I bet, I bet it was like watching movies with that one girl that can't stop asking questions, you know. A bunch of pause-worthy shit. So, so, while, so while you and Pat were at home wrestling, I was in custody wrestling charges because my plug gave me that heavy white girl, that Kelly Clarkson. I guess, I guess, I guess my plug gave me that white girl, that Kelly Clarkson. I guess my plug just different, like Tesla's charging. Keep making, keep, keep making me mad. I take a girl on a date, act like I'm gonna buy you dinner, then leave her in the alley with the rest of the garbage. I'm not the one he wanna go gun bars with, cause my aim been on a bag like I invested in Target. When I couldn't, when I couldn't afford the lunch at school, you was stepping in charters. When my family was accepting collect calls, yours was prepping for Harvard. Your, your direction is awkward. You had the money to be anything you wanted, and you chose to lift weights and battle rap? That's a laugh. That's a laugh, bitch, you cheesy, we back to the craft. When I wrote this, I was out of this world. I left in a starship. This shit takes a lot from me. I'm worried about perfection, the artist. I reckon the artless. Fuck you, my real aim's on EKG. But that's a double. Cause if I'm aiming at EKG, I guess we checking his heart then. <laughs> he must be stupid. He jumped in the deep end and now he treaded with shark fins. Why, why did it take you so long to book a battle, Nick? What was your schedule for? Yeah, I bet it was. Full of scheduled narcotics. He always, hey, hey, he always want to judge the new battle as climbing the ranks. What makes you qualified? You haven't been relevant since lefty and caustic. Your opinions are wanted. The criticism is awful. A bunch of jealous, insultated, and backhanded compliments. Plus, your stories always seem to contradict. This is battle rap. We don't respect you until you kill something. Unless you plumbing, stop talking shit. We don't fuck with outsiders. You should know this. How the fuck does this rich boy not have any common sense? But battle rap, been over for him, because this bitch old. Bitch, keep making me mad. I use the code words. That's Madison Square Garden. Oh. I mean, I got shooters at Nick's home. Hey! Oh. Oh. Time! Oh. Let's go. Now, we both use white boy gun bars in our past. Facts. And I know a lot of y'all don't find them that clever. But I still brought one round of them to show y'all that mine are still better. <laughs> so he'll say these arm bars don't have legs to stand on when he's talking to the fans. But the real heads knew he'd get tore, so I still got a body on my hands. <laughs> now, now, this angle ain't exposing him. But if you listen closely, I can show you what I mean. I heard his father was a custodian. And in context, the concept's much deeper than it seems. Because his father was a janitor. So I, think, I guess we both got a sweeper in our jeans, but fuck that. Sweeper. But fuck that. I'd ra but fuck that. I'd rather keep it with the team. That means I won't come for you. But my whole clique with the biz, so if I give them a list, they're running through. They'll come into your crib and put a stick to your ribs quicker than comfort food. That shit they find fun to do. Or they might catch him downtown and fill the corner of fourth with shells until the crime scene can't ID Mike and only the more can tell. They'll say he died in the dark out in Pioneer Park. Leaving, oh. They'll say he died in the dark oh. out in Pioneer Park leaving an Oregon trail. Pioneer Park, Oregon trail. Oh. Bitch, hey, hey, hey. Oh. Bitch, 
bitch, you are porcelain. My bitch, you are porcelain, Prell. And my squad don't play kid games, they with the shits. Wait for him to drop the ball, that's when they pick up sticks. And if it's a... Oh. Pick up sticks? But if it's a fight, you are cool, we can stick up this. But if that's the case, your team could get touched up too. Because if I put hands on his circle, it ain't duck, duck, goose. And that's... And that's, and that's the fucked up truth. So when he's catching the beats or the fade, you ain't gonna hear, Mike Will made it. You'll hear his bitch screaming at a doctor, Will Mike make it? Cause when the left hand, cause when the left hand lands, it's probably gonna face plant kid. And when the right hand lands, it'll stretch Mike out more than Space Jam did. told I couldn't wait for the fame so I was casing this place ready to aim in his face with a gun so big I can't even say what it weighs but it, but it can't well, I can't even say what it weighs but it came from the waist so it sprayed in a wave and the people behind him got laced with the stray they'll try to blame the gun but that's the way it was raised I, I got the shotgun down at Walmart since I can't target I caught twice and the stock slides it's a bad market the blast the blast leaves a hole the size of Shaq's armpit so his dome's out so his dome's out on the floor of an old house like Shaq carpet now bring it back yeah yeah bring it back now we're, hey let's go no, now we're done hold it down now we're done with the gun bars in the last round we're gonna have some words it's about to get worse for you and I know you took this match thinking things would get back on course for you, but the guy's a bitch, so I had to show I would fire sticks before I'll ever pass the torch to you. Oh. Oh. Alex! Come on, come on, come on. Let's get up for Nick Jones! Yeah. Mike Bailey, round two. Yo, I can't believe they let Nick Jones in. But I got the old fix. I know what Nick Jones in. Oh. One look at the dope, he'll be right back to the streets. I mean, literally, homeless. Now his family gotta distance themselves. He gonna go from being dope sick to homesick. Side note then, y'all know when your neighbors go and cut their grass so now you feel like you gotta get to mowing? Uh. Well, this kinda like that. When I chase his family home with the strap, I'm just trying to keep up with the Joneses. Hey! Man, I hate when you complex rappers rap. No one actually understands. It's very suspicious. I mean, we both sick like COVID, but when I spit, everyone gets it. The variant's different. I will, I will bury you, Nicholas. These bullets, I will bury you, Nicholas. These bullets got names on them. I let the birds send the message like carrier pigeons. I went from, I went from Cali Smooth to Nick who? Man, the preparing is different. He getting throwaways. This dude's done. Now tell me who's next. No disrespect. I love Mike Masters, and we all in the same house. Just different levels. This a duplex. Hey. Hey. If, if hey. nothing else, if nothing else, it's like a polygraph form. You know, a true test. I leave dudes stressed. Nick, I been the shit. Find your neighborhood and bend the shit. Against Spaz, I said a few Benjamin or Benjamin, and I meant the shit. But this time, when he get checked, he getting fed bucks like the stimulus. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, even with a head start, I laugh him. But we both white, so y'all might wonder why I'm speaking on race then. Well, it's because we can either crash out or stay in our lane. Either option I'm embracing. But as soon as we finish lines, you're going to see an early grave's the only place you've been racing. Fuck Pat. If this continues to go left, tell your team watch Daytona Voice. Because my track record, amazing. You, you should have thought about pacing, you know. Slow your roll, but now you got a shot. So let's make this count like a promo code. I can snowball code, turn his whole life to a photo roll with one button, like cholo clothes. I'm just hey. 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 I say, now you got a shot. 
So let's make this count like a promo code. I give snow globe code. Could turn his whole life to a photo roll with one button like cholo clothes. I be taxing, but I hate bros flow. In this case, y'all got me pro bono though. I pull no blows. You still stuck at the bottom of the totem pole. You ain't a man. Hey, you still stuck at the bottom of the totem pole. You ain't a man. Must be a comedian. Cause every time you try to stand up, it looks like a total joke. Man, there's a popularity circle I'm not a part of. And they think it makes me hate my life. Shit, I'd probably beat me too if I had ghostwriters to create my rhymes. See, you, you battling me. I'm battling you, Pat, Stretch, Atheon. Y'all get together and start taking lines. He gonna say, he gonna say he won off creativity. What an amazing lie. The audacity. See, I guess he just played your ears while he plagiarized. <laughs> I know that Pat helped you write. The only thing I don't know is his feet. Or is he so bogus that he wants to see the disposing of me so bad he would add to the fuck shit of the culture for free? I mean, deny all you want. You can deny all you want, but I got inside information and I'm noticing a theme. Just like your gum bars, your whole circle is fake and full of those geeks. That means y'all fake all around. Cause one of your friends made sure that that info would go to me. That's how I know you don't know how to pipe work. Cause not only did you have to call for the backup, but you ain't even noticed the leak. Oh! be considered your cancellation, but I guess since you aren't in touch with the real you and in this round when I kill you it's only character assassination, so <clears throat> let's lay it out. You're so desperate for respect and for all your peers to recognize you that it's left you stuck behind the guys who are moving up and stepping by you. If you want to know why I'm more respected, well let me run these lessons by you. While you chased a dream, I helped make this scene like set designers. What? And online, Mike had two top fives, both past and present. The guy's own name was duly mentioned. But ever since, he's been on a losing streak, so I'm betting that you regret it. Because all that lame talking has his name falling like movie credits. It's like this. You take too many battles, and we notice you're stressing. And the losses have stacked up and all these showings regression. I was really hoping some of those L's would be holding some lessons. Then you could spot why you're in your own top five and nobody else's. <laughs> Meanwhile, me, shit, I've been keeping idle. Chilling in retirement and yet Mike still sees me as this rival. Something's telling me it's the jealousy that's eating up inside you. Because I haven't battled in ten years. Shit, I haven't even tried to. A decade without a win and yet you need this more than I do. <laughs> your big name battles go, when you have to write them a check, that'll never buy our respect. That's what these lessons have taught me. But truly, this movement gets hurt in these battles where he's losing his shirt. You think he'd be humbled, and you think he'd be humble instead of so cocky, because really, what are you worth if on every corner is a church where you can see someone turn bread into a body? <clears throat> Danny, Lada, Dennis, Dog, there's too many to list off. Just another dude who can never chew what he bit off? I mean, sure you beat Dre Vicious, but let's look what that shit costs. They give him smooth necks, finally gets his big shot, and just prove that going back, back to Cali, Cali only ends in a big loss. Oh. Homie, that battle was so bad, Lefty Two Guns called me and said that he felt sad for you. Anyone who's ever tried to help the guy, he turns his back and just gets mad at you. Well, this is battle rap, Michael. It's the writers you should matter to. And they don't have the heart, so I have to have this little chat with you. It's time to say no dice and explore some other avenues or learn to take advice and have a fucking better attitude. But I, but I guess in turn, to sum it up for those that need the recap, when your movement and candor reeks of delusions of grandeur, it makes the whole image and look of our league bad. And when losing's the standard, the view shouldn't matter. See, the problem's been volume, but Mike can't handle the feedback. Oh, no. No. Nick's a super bro. 
All he cares about is clubbing and going to the gym. <laughs> Type of dude to walk up on you all tough, like, bro, you even lift? <laughs> hey, he's always on the bench, skipping leg day, top heavy as shit. You need to take a breath. Relax, super bro. Quit walking around like you're super ripped. Matter of fact, Right now, I feel like I'm judging women's bodybuilding. Because I'm looking at the Damn. definition of a bitch. Oh. Oh. I'm pissed. No. I'm pissed. You know what I do for work, Nick? Unlike you, I work with dudes who actually know when to quit. You see, I had to take a day off of work. Hey, unlike you, I work with dudes who actually know when to quit. I had to take a day off of work for this. This is a hassle. You overcharge rich people to work out. I help guys work out their obstacles and how to get past them. So me being here so you and I can battle actually took me away from the only battle that actually matters. Real shit, working with addicts, I see myself in them. I relate to the trauma. I'm hoping I can help them avoid a gory end. One of the first rules, we can't be friends on social media. No tags. So how the fuck do I always see myself in they stories then? You see, look, I've grown past the point I ever thought I could. I've grown past the point I ever thought I could. So the point, my friend, is you're going to be disappointed if you came to talk about anything to owe me, Dick, because anything I've already done is literally below me, Nick. Sometimes I wish we could softly set the choppers down instead of crashing out. And that's word to Kobe's kid. But we still... We could all softly set the choppers down instead of crashing out. And that's where the Kobe's kid. God damn. But we still can't change everything. We gotta separate the real and fake, you know. Divide and conquer. Napoleon. He a, he a fucking liar. Who actually believes they can see Nick with the nickel load in it? Please. Everything this kid shows slimy. We should have seen Nick and Nickelodeon. Shitty shave. I wanna take the blade to Nick Nick in the face. Beat the sight, smell, and taste. Basically, he gonna lose everything five cents related. <laughs> he gonna lose everything five cents related, like being drunk at the nickel cave. <laughs> look, look, look. You ain't tough. You ain't tough. This spring cleaning, it's time to get the picture straight. You was a nerdy rich kid who never had less than five food groups on a dinner plate. And watching a throwback jazz game, the only time you ever seen Pistol play. So piss me off and you are not leaving. Choke him till he stop breathing. Beat him with the side of the strap. I'm talking tax all in his face like he got caught cheating. Hey, hey. The plot, the plot, the plot deepens. Your whole team, drama queens. This is not even. And my circle got code names. I mean, Britney Spears, Katy Perry, Taylor Swift. You know what that means? That means we pop divas. Hey, off presence alone, off presence alone, I can't lose to anything you craft or right? You wasn't out here battling guys who had you laughed in hype. You wasn't battling on the road where they heckle and laugh at guys. You sit at home feeling like you have the type. Judging dudes you couldn't rap with half the time. The other half you're judging dudes new to the battle life and hurt their confidence before they have a chance to fight. Hey. Meanwhile, hey. meanwhile, you come outside once a year claiming to be the best. Well, sorry for the crossover, but AI just realized you don't practice right. <laughs> hey. yeah. I'm, I'm feeling devilish. I'm feeling devilish. This is a seance, because I'm talking to a dead man. Someone get the candles right. Big blade, shing. Everyone want to be a goat until it's time for the sacrifice. Hey. Fuck the jokes. I've been waiting for the start. I'm Jimmy Butler. Fuck a fan favorite. I'm Ron Artest. If the crowd heckles, I really punch them. Bitch, when you withdraw from any substance, you withdraw from a trust fund, and I don't trust nothing. I really had to stuff 50-something in a Fendi duffel. This Talladega Nights, he be looking regular, but think he on fire like Ricky Buggin. Bitch, you rapping like a semi bussin' when you really bluffing, you really nothing. We don't take you seriously. You funny, Nikki, shut it. You just a gross bitch that make us laugh, you Whitney Cummins. If I, hey, if I really did decide to pull the four, I'd knock his nose off like Voldemort. Leave him planted on his back. Hey, leave him planted on his back. Now he Bulbasaur. I ain't letting, I ain't letting the shit, I ain't letting the same shit slide that you tried to pull before. Trying to clown me on the net. Just to say you pulled in my leg. Well, oh, for sure. I'ma have his family trying to decide if they should pull the cord. Ayy! Hey.
hey, they come with trash. I come with bars, because that's what battle rap's for. And if you're feeling this shit, look up official Mike Bailey on all platforms. Yeah.